Okay, we are restarting here. Well, not restarting, we are continuing. The tale of Gweg Gwid and her adventures in this disgusting swamp. We are going to be... At the very least... Finishing up our exploration of Farron Keep and Farron Swamp. Come on. And I'm pretty sure we're going to fight the Abyss Watchers today. I think. We'll see. No, I can't use the sword one-handed yet, so parries aren't going to do me any good. That is fine. Alright. Let's get down here in the muck and the mire. Oh, I don't have my... Ah, shit. I'm invaded already. It's fine. He may not even find me. He found me. God damn it. Really? I'm dead. Okay, not a big deal. Yeah, goodbye, Melkor. Butthole. There's somewhere I want to go. It's right over there. Uh. Leave me alone. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa, no! Oh my god, there's so many! Oh! Okay, I'm off to a bad start. This is a... <laughs> this wasn't even really where I wanted to go. Oh! Oh, not a crab! Oh no, this is where the Dark Wraith is, isn't it? Oh no. There's so many guys. And I've pissed them all off. Oh. That wasn't even really where I wanted to go, was it? No, where I wanted to go was over here, I think. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Grab those.
let's see if I can remember. I want to get to where I'm going here. Oh, that was just a slug. Is it over this way? I'll be honest, I usually skip through this entire part. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Here it is. Right? No? I can't get all the way around here, can I? Ah, here we go. Now I'm on the right track. There's the ladder. Okay, that's what I want. Good God. This might be the only optional area that I do in this whole place. Just because it's the, really the only one that's worth going to. Might as well stop the poison here. And I think four Estus flasks should be enough to get me through this whole area. Before we go in there, we got a couple of things to grab. Crystal Lizard. And a... Secret door with some ashes. We've got a bonfire here, and we can enter a covenant with this old wolf. Nothing happens if you hit him. No biggie. Now, I usually get invaded a lot here, so I'm going to go ahead and Ember up. <coughs> because I want to get invaded. I don't really care. I like getting invaded. It's fun. And also, I usually get killed by this guy up here. We'll see how it goes. Hello, big boy. Oh, 
you may recognize this fellow from Dark Souls 1. He's not really counted as a boss in this game because he doesn't have like a boss health bar or a name. Oh shit. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, he killed me. Well, crumbs. We'll make our way back up there, though. Uh, what's weird is he doesn't have, like, boss music or a, a boss title or anything like that, but he does drop a, uh, boss soul, which is really unusual. It's over here. What rings have I got on? Why do I have Flynn's ring on? Why well, should be wearing my poison bite ring since I'm in Poison World? Good lord. Okay. Alright, let's get this guy. Hello! It's me, Gwitty! Oh, shit! I just got disconnected from the server. And then it kicked me out of the game. That's weird and kind of a bummer. Okay. I had trouble logging into the game server earlier, so maybe we'll just play in offline mode today. Yeah, it's not going to let me back in. Because I recorded a quick test video before I started this. Okay. Wonder where it's going to continue me from. Oh, right, right there, huh? There we go. Goodbye, stray demon. And then up here, on his bridge, we find a couple of goodies, an ember, a great axe, and another ember. And there's another little secret area over here. Hmm, I wonder if I'm having some kind of internet connection issues, because I just got another thing that says that I'm having trouble connecting to the chat. That's interesting. Titanite shards, that's always good news. Uh, it seems to be streaming to Twitch okay, I wonder... Huh.
Okay, well, I'll just reload the chat here and hope that's working. Something weird's going on. Make sure I got all my windows in order here. Okay, cool. That heavy gym is going to come in handy for us. So there's a good number of nice little goodies over here to be had. And... Oh, there's still one more guy down there. Let's go get him. He's just butting his head up against the wall here. Bye-bye. Got another one of these pilgrim dudes. The old Londor looking guys. It's hanging out against that wall. Dead dragon over there I didn't even comment on. Because I was busy fixing things in chats and things like that. But yeah, that's really the only area I wanted to show up here. There's some other stuff in Fair and Keep that you can... Whoa! That you can uh, pick up if you're looking for it. A bunch of sorcery stuff. I don't, I don't fuck around with no sorcery. So I'm not going to bother because I hate being in Fair and Keep so much. I like this upper part though. There's like a semi-boss fight that is hidden. And then some embers and things like that that are always useful. Uh, so let's go to the Keep Ruins bonfire and we will head up and see if we can... Uh... Grab a couple other goodies and extras, and then go find us a boss fight to get into. Oh yeah, there's an item over here I need to get. Lugs in there. Undead bone shard. That's always good to have. And we'll go burn that when we go visit Keepy. Here's a bunch of these Corvian guys. I guess, lore-wise, what's happening here is they're having some kind of... He was like a preacher, and these guys are worshippers of some sort. Because later you find something called a storyteller's uh, staff or something like that on one of those winged Corvian guys that breathe smoke and fire and shit everywhere. But I don't know about no lore, I just want to hit stuff with my sword. 
this is interesting, is there's a couple of dark wraiths up here who, uh, are just kind of going hog wild on the Gru in this area. I'm gonna let him. And we'll light this bonfire and work through this area here. I'll probably come back here later off camera and grind until I get a dark sword because it is a really good straight sword to use. And as much as I like using uh, the great sword here, Occasionally I do need to turtle up on some fights, or I want to parry some enemies. And it's always a good idea to have a good straight sword. And I'm fairly certain that the dark sword is one of the better ones. Nope. Sorry, lizard. Today wasn't your day. And this opens up a shortcut back to the Road of Sacrifices, over by where we fought that uh, Black Knight ages ago. Also, that big crucifix guy saw me, but I think if I run away, he can't get to me. He can't fit through that doorway. So I'm just going to run away. I don't need to prove nothing. Alright, so... Let's go fight a boss! Now, if you just wait right here... You can see those dark wraiths from earlier kind of walking up the pathway. I'm pretty sure they won't spot me here, so I'm just going to let them go on and take care of the Gru on the way up. And the Gru will partially take care of them. Alright. Once they start running, they'll usually ignore you. up here. I want to see if the Dark Wraiths go for him. I think one of the Dark Wraiths just died, didn't he? Holy shit. Yeah. Oh no, both Dark Wraiths are still moving. One of them was just farther ahead than the other. getting their asses handed to them by those dark wraiths. Some kind of commotion still going on here. What's happening? Yeah, that dark wraith's almost fresh. Where's the other one? Okay, the other one died here. Let's see if we can just get the drop on this fella. We did. And a dark sword, please? Nope. Oh well. And this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the whole game because it's really badass.
Hell yeah. Alright, Abyss Watchers. These guys are pretty tough. They do fall for all kinds of tricks, though, like backstabs. And then, as you get the main one's health down, more show up. I think only three total will fight you. And you can split them apart, and then they'll start fighting amongst each other. The damage you do to these guys doesn't count overall in the boss fight, but they're a little bit weaker than the main guy, and it's better to be fighting one of those than the main guy. Get him! Ah, uh, nope. Not quite. Okay. Yeah, now he's gone Super Saiyan. Which I like about Dark Souls 3 is that there are transformations of bosses and cool shit like that. trail that he makes when he does that attack will fuck you up big time. I'm pretty sure it can one-shot you, or it usually does the builds I use. Damn it! I'm gonna get back up. Whoop. Whoop. this, not this close. No, 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 no. Got it out. Oh, shit. I tried to drink an Estus flask, but I was out of Estus. Shit. Okay, well, I got him close. <sighs> it's a stressful fight. Um, one thing that I like about, um, or one thing that I've learned about Abyss Watchers is it's 
a lot of uh, attacks in Dark Souls you want to roll into. Abyss Watchers I have a lot more luck rolling away from. And I don't know if that does me any good or not. It's just what I end up doing. Mm -hmm. I thought one of those. Dark Wraith was going to head my way, but he didn't. Okay. Yeah. They're going after the Gru. And I'll just stand here patiently and wait for them. Because I do want to get one of their swords, and as they fight the Gru, they get softened up. something? No, he didn't. Okay, let's get these crazy daisy dark wraiths out of the way. There's two of them. He's about half. He's full. I do that. Got him. Okay. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Holy shit! Number two came in out of nowhere! Yikes! I'm fully expecting to make several runs at this boss because they're hard. Dark Wraiths do their thing. Hmm. 
Where's that one going? Should I go after him? Never seen that. I thought he'd fight the good. I thought he went after the dark rates. So I'm running that way. Ooh, leave me alone, please. Come on, fight each other. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there they go. Come on, kick his ass! Nope, not, not after me, come on! Fight those other guys. I heard that guy on the other side of the arena talking shit about you. He said you were pussy. He said you got your sword from a flea market. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Surprise! Gotcha! <laughs> okay. Whatever, I'm skipping it. All right. Phase two. Ah! I just took that one on the chin. I didn't even have a... Yeah. Defense. Uh, there we go. I'm doing okay. I need a bit of a faster weapon, kind of, for these guys. Because this one uses a lot of stamina. It's nicer just to have something that you can get in and get out quick with. You kind of got to commit to your attacks with this sword. You got to rely on hyper armor a lot and taking a lot of hits. And really the Abyss Watchers are so aggressive that you don't want to be taking too much hits from them.
I'm just gonna go see if I can sneak in during the chaos. <whistles> Look over here. Alright. Whoa! Shit! One of the Groove got me through the fog door. That's good. Wait, is one already getting up? Yeah, there's two already? It must be on a timer rather than uh, by damage to the main one. Huh, I'll be damned. Yeah, because they're getting the third one. I heard him. Alright. Let the three of them fight each other here. No, not... Okay, he's the main one. Come on, you two. Fight each other. I just heard that third one get up again. Yeah, there he is. Okay, fight each other. Come on. after me now. Hey, Eric! I'm fighting the Abyss Watchers. Or, more appropriately, watching them fight each other. Come on. Hit each other. Leave me alone! I'm having a lot worse luck than I am the last couple of runs I've had at these guys. They're really interested in killing me and not killing each other. There we go. Alright. Fight this guy by himself now. Alright. Let's heal up. See if I can get in there and start dealing some sneaky damage to these guys while they're duking it out. Wow! Oh, no! There he goes. All right. All right, now he's fire boy. I've got three Estes to deal with. I'm not feeling confident, but it is what it is. was almost a backstab. I saw myself start to do the animation a second ago.
Oh no! Fuck! Ah, uh, damn it! So close. It's okay. Uh. All right, really good on the first phase there. <laughs> Second phase, let's see what he's got. I've got a lot more Estus this round, so... Wow! Jeepers! I feel like this is the run. I feel like this is it. Okay, I like that just fine. Okay, I don't like this. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Perfect! Okay. Let's top off. That was bad. That was bad. That's really bad. Oh. That's really bad. Aww. Come on! Abyss Watchers. Let's do it again.
At least I know that almost without a doubt I'll beat the next boss in one try. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Why am I bad? Why did I do that? Yeah, Wo was right, Eric. He fucking waylaid me. third one in here to save me. I think I just heard him. I did. Alright, cool.
We're gonna keep going until I beat him. You know that's gonna happen. You've got this, Gwid. Oops. Let's roll directly into his first attack. up too, I heard him. Where's he at? He's behind me. There he is. Alright, this next round is starting quick because I'm right there where he spawns his fire boy. No, no! Okay, don't get greedy. Take it where you can get it, and it's right there. Thank you. About time. <clears throat> so with that said, with that done, let's head back to Firelink before we press on. That's a really hard fight. And it's been a minute since I've done it myself. Because I think the last few times that I've played this game, I've played it with you helping me, Eric. <laughs> so... Oh wait, no, I don't have a heart's desire. Leave me alone. 
We get some Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust, stuff of a fool, won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. More's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> That's the dream catcher's ashes. It's the only ash that she has, like, special dialogue for. I'm not sure whose they were supposed to be. And... Shut up. There we go. That uh, makes me roll slow. Let's add some endurance. Or wait, is it vitality in this one? Yeah. Let's add some vitality. There we go, back to fast rolling. Morden's over here. Uh, or, uh, Egan, rather. Do some more leveling up. Uh, strength is always good. Endurance is always great. Let's burn our undead bone shard. Did I have two of them? No, I just had one. And we'll run over to Andre, see if there's any more leveling up I can do on my great sword. How's it going, Andre? Ah, just good, wasn't it? Nope, I need two more large Titanite shards. Okay, be careful. Let's see if Grey Rat's got anything for us. What's up? Oh, I have depend in one piece. Eh, how am I doing on throwing knives? I think I got a lot of them. None. Just in case I need some. Goodbye, all oh, these places. <laughs> See you, Grey Rat. And we're gonna go check in with. Oh, what's his name? This dork. It was you. Yeah, I've got the stones for it here. Heavy gem, yeah. The undead legion of fang sworn by wolf's blood to conjoice the game in steel. Come on. Yeah, that's weird. He's supposed to uh, give me some dialogue after I beat them. Maybe he will later. Let's see if we can put this heavy gem on my. Uh... Let's see. Heavy gem that'll take me up to doing a little more damage. Refined gem. Heavy gem is going to be the way to go, I think. All right, so now I've got a heavy great sword. Okay, be careful. I go. She doesn't sell large shards yet, does she? No. Okay. 
Oh, hang on a second. Check out how many souls I've got. Hail Satan! Woo! Alright. Let's move on. So what I just did with Andre is I put a... I, I infused my sword with a heavy gem so that it scales with, uh... Strength. Uh, because strength is my main stat. Dex is gonna be my alternate stat. And, let's see. So now it does 365 damage rather than the 200 and some it was doing. So I'm going to be doing a lot more damage in the next area, which is super. Oh, what a strange looking altar. Hmm. Oh. It was moving. Alright, so this is the Catacombs of Carthus. I fucking hate the Catacombs of Carthus, so guess what? We're gonna be cheating our way through it, skipping a bunch of shit. It's a pain in the ass. There's not really very many good items down here. I am gonna show off one Easter egg that I really like. And that's it, baby. Get your shit out of here. Hey, you skeleton. E shit. Go to hell. That got me the first time because um, I didn't expect it to come back the way it came. Ah, no! Well, at least I got that ember, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's get done with this area. That was a really stupid way to die. Oh. Now if you kill this skeleton wearing a stupid little hat, the ball's gonna roll down here and explode at the end of the hallway and give you a new undead bone shard, which is cool. Uh, these skeletons have kind of a gimmick to them. Uh, the ones with the glowing eyes will respawn once after you kill them the first time. They also have bombs that throw these fucking purple things that chase you around. Yeah, this is a good area for Halloween. It's nice and spooky.
We got some scary skeletons. I mean, Dark Souls is in some ways a horror game. You could make that argument, I think. It's very kind of like... Whoop, medieval and gothy and there's skeletons and monsters. And ghosts and... Uh, 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 uh. Ah! That's another thing about this area is that some of the pots that you roll through will release those purple things and they'll kill you really fast. Dark Souls game. I'm used to dying over and over again. fool just got killed with his own boulder. Comes back one more time. And then pow! Skeletons in Dark Souls follow a proud tradition of being really stupid cartoon skeletons though. I love them. Yeah, Bloodborne is straight up just like HP Lovecraft cosmic horror bullshit. Uh, Dark Souls is more like medieval dungeon horror aesthetic, I think. Like, Bloodborne definitely you can make a case for it just being a straight up horror game, though. It's an action horror game, but nonetheless. None of those hit him. I know it's never gonna happen, but I really wish that Bloodborne would get a PC release. That would mean that we were living in the best possible reality of all worlds. I 
I really liked what I p played of Bloodborne. It's just at one point I had to pay my rent and I had a PlayStation 4 that was essentially the Bloodborne machine. I was like, well, out of all the things that I can sell to make rent, it'll be the console I own that I only have one game that I want to play for. Tiptoe around here. There's very little fiddle fucking around in this level. As a matter of fact, I suspect we are going to fight the boss of this level very soon. I just don't like messing around in here. We are going to take a very specific detour right now, though, because how can we not? Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night. We stop at night. We're the rats. That's the giant rat that makes all of the rules. So, there's another one of those skeleton boulders running around down here. It rolls up and down here. I'm going to uh, go turn that one off too. Because it has an easter egg in it that I like a lot. So as you recall, just a little while ago, I uh, stopped one of those boulders and inside of it was an undead bone shard. That may lead you to believe that there is some fantastic treasure in this second one. Well, I'm here to tell you there is. Let's go get it. Okay. Just gotta watch out for these guys because they are tricky. <laughs> you better not come over here. You'll get one right on your bonds. And he's gonna come back to life. His eyes are glowing white. And there's another little skeleton in a stupid hat right here. It's killing. And then we'll go back downstairs and we'll see what happens to the boulder. It explodes, and inside's just this little crab. Hello, crab. Goodbye, crab. And a dark gem, I guess, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not. <laughs> Alright, let's go fight the boss in this area. There's a whole lot more exploring and things that you can do, and there's a side quest that I'm not doing. Because I'm just going to get the straight up ending in this run. There's an NPC invasion. Not gonna bother.
Huh, suspension bridge, huh? Oh, holy shit, that's a lot of skeletons. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can knock that suspension bridge down. Hee hee. Ha ha. Ho ho. This is one of the shortest areas in the game if you know where to go. I think in my last run, like just when I was playing for fun by myself, I got through here in about nine minutes or something like that, just ignoring en enemies and running. It was kind of pitiful. And now my cup runneth over with a bunch of black smoke. Oh, an item, cool. It's a big skeleton! So if you know this boss's gimmick, he's no big deal at all. The only thing that's really dangerous he's about to do, when he breathes this smoke, this smoke will kill you fucking fast. So stay out of it. Oh. You can also get you pinned up against the back wall and breathe smoke, and then you're fucking dead for sure. If you get caught in that smoke, you're fucked. That is a fact. But you just smack his giant glowing bracelets, it's not that hard to figure out. We'll climb up a little. Uh, if you break the bla bracelet, you have to have sex with him. Hey, how's it going? I am just beating High Lord Wolnir here. We fought the Abyss Watchers. We uh, just beat High Lord Wolnir, and we're gonna move on to Irithyll. And Irithyll is, I think, one of the harder parts of the game. It's it's where I remember in my blind run, my very first playthrough, where I remember thinking like, holy shit, this game's getting hard. You know what? 
Let's not go to Irithyll. It is a silly place. Let's go somewhere else. Because I need large Titanite shards and I know where I can get them. This bridge we kicked down. You can climb down the bridge. And then there's a demon! Hey, how's it going? It's me, Wegwed. Nice to meet you. If you'll recall, we fought one of these guys with uh, Sigmire, or Sigward earlier, rather. If you want to just run away, these skeletons that are down here, they'll do some damage to him for you. Look at him. He's pissed. He hates these fucking skeletons. Kick his ass, skeleton! Ooh. Ooh, he's after me now. skeletons got him. He drops a boss soul too, which is nice. Alright, let me see if I can take care of these skeletons without getting my ass handed to me. Let's go. Come on. So many. Is that one? That one and you two. Okay. Skeletons are dealt with. One more skeleton. Come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And get back down. Okay, cool. You too? Come on. Hey, Trey, how's it going? Got the old witch's ring, which boosts pyromancies, and the uh, pyromancer's head scarf, or whatever it's called. Old sage's blindfold, which also uh, boosts pyromancies, I believe. We don't need those, we're not doing pyromancy. Where we are going, we don't need pyromancy. You beat Dark Souls 2! Did you do the DLC too? Here's the problem with this area, is there is a guy with a gigantic triple shot A guy with a gigantic triple shot ballista up there. And there's this giant worm. So 
you just have to run away from all of it. The DLC is the best part of Dark Souls 2, in my humble opinion. I would highly recommend the DLC. In fact, I would recommend the DLC over the main game of Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Yeah, it absolutely is better than the rest of the game. This room in particular is a Fucking beast of a room. Oh, that's hardly any damage at all! Oh, I might have come down here too early. Looking at things. Yeah, let's just continue. Whatever. Oh! <laughs> Pardon me. Almost fell in off a, into a pit there. <laughs> These guys say. Shit. This area sucks. Yeah, those two guys are rough. There's a lot to watch out for in that encounter. Actually, you know what? I don't know who Dragon Slayer Rin is. I don't think that's an NPC, though. I thought I could fight an NPC over here. Oh well. Or summon an NPC to help me. At least with that room. I really like the noises these guys make. They're, They're funny. So much fire everywhere! There's so many flames! Shit. This room is really bad. going at it again though we're not stopping I'm gonna get through this room and get the treasure in here because it's a really good treasure no what on earth Come on! Bummer, I just lost 40,000 souls. 
What a pain in my rear end. Whatever. Alright, now he's dead. I'll pick up the zero souls that I had there. Yeah, that's at least one of those things gone. Okay, now I've only got to fight one of those guys. He's got like two orbs, maybe three. Helping him. If I use this column strategically, it'll help. Get him. Okay, there we go. That's better. Shit, I don't have like lightning urns or anything. Oh well. There we go, an undead bone shard. That was worth this. Whatever, I don't need to kill those guys. I'm not trying to prove nothing. Uh, undead bone shards are like the uh, sublime bone dust in Dark Souls 2. Uh, or like a fire keeper soul of Dark Souls 1, they just improve the efficiency of your Estus, uh, Estus Flask. Uh... And if any of you are criers, get your teeth and get your Kleenex ready. Because here we find where we are, actually. We are actually currently in the remains of Blighttown, above the Demon Ruins. And these are the remains of uh, the Fair Lady and Inyegi. We are back in Dark Souls 1 territory in this area. Uh, but this is the Fair Lady who is the uh, Chaos Servant Covenant leader in Dark Souls 1. Kind of a bummer. Uh, this is a real dick move. They don't give you an orange ring uh, in this game, but they put all these objects in uh, lava, and you just have to kind of time out your Estus Flask drinks and hope you get them in time before you die. And they're kind of useless items. They're just like embers, and I think there's um, I think there's a spell that isn't even a very good spell down there. So fuck that. We're not doing it. I don't got time for that shit. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. I thought they had something over here. I guess they don't. One of the uh, few chests in Dark Souls 3 that isn't a mimic. 
And there's a room full of basilisks down here, so we're going to proceed with caution. Possibly wearing a curse bite ring? No, we're not, because I don't have one. Never mind. Chop! I can kill him in two hits. So let's just keep that in mind. Try to kill that one and then get out of there. Nope. Yep, the orange ring is only in one. Um, it'd be really useful in two as well, actually. For a couple of areas! Oh! Ooh. No. No. These are bad frogs. I hate them. Leave me alone, froggies. Please go away. Uh, another ring that I really wanted to see come back in Dark Souls 3 was the um, Rusted Iron Ring. Because there's a lot of places with, like, a bad footing that make you walk slow. And that would have been incredibly useful, especially, like, if, even if you didn't get it in Farron Swamp, just for, like, New Game Plus Farron Swamp runs. It'd be really great. Uh, I can't remember if the Rusted Iron Ring is in two or not. I think it is. It might not be. But then again, I can't think of too many places in two where you would need the Rusted Iron Ring. Off the top of my head. Oh shit, that didn't do me any good. Because I can't really parry with this yet. Oh shit! Oh, Shrine of Amana. Yeah, it would be really good in Shrine of Amana. Now that I now that I remember that, yeah, that's true. I thought I could get away! Oh well. <laughs> That's what I get for getting in a hurry. I should have just fought him. No, Shrine of Amana is fucking terrible. You are absolutely right, Trey. Um, that's one of the worst parts of Dark Souls 2. Uh, the final boss of Shrine of Amana, or do you mean, um, the final boss of the whole game? And Eric with the, uh, the check. It is not in Dark Souls 2. One of the best rings that you can get in Dark Souls 1. It's not appear in the rest of the series. Uh, the, um... Did you get the final, final boss? I don't want to give you any spoilers. But when you beat the queen, did you fight somebody after the queen? Okay, you mean the queen. Yeah, if, um... I think the final, final boss is the DLC. I think... It's been a minute since Eric and I beat that, and the only time I've ever beaten Dark Souls 2 was a co-op run with Eric. And we played it with the DLC. Um, I'm gearing up to do a, a proper Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. 
of a scholar of the first sin, and I am doing a practice run on my own, and I just finished Shrine of Amana in my practice run. And so that's still fresh in my mind. One charged R2 kills these guys in one hit. But a jumping attack, it doesn't. get out of this cloud. That's one thing that I love about um, 2 and 3 is they made playing with a friend like foolproof and really fun because there's a, a whole lot of fucking goofy shenanigans you can get up to if you have a buddy helping you in these games. Um... Oh no! Shit! Really? You know what? Fuck Smoldering Lake. I'm going back to uh, Firelink Shrine. As a matter of fact, I've been doing this for almost two hours. I think I'm going to call her quits for the evening, but I am going to do some upgrades and things in Firelink while I'm at it, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um... But yeah, uh, Eric and I play video games all the time together, and um, one of the ones that we always used to play, we always used to play Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row, because they're good fucking around games. And then for a while, we spent like ages just replaying Dark Souls games over and over again. And they are so fun to just goof around in. Uh... Oh, I don't have any souls. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a little, a couple more streams here, um, so you didn't miss too much. It's been a while since I've done it because I've been focused on Halloween month and recording Let's Plays to play every day on Halloween. And then I skipped a couple of days because I didn't have any videos, and then I decided, oh, fuck it, this isn't fun. So I'm posting them just whenever I have a video to post. So, uh, let's see. What else do I need? I need two more large shards to make this a plus five. Do I have any Titanite chunks yet? I feel like I don't. No. Of course not. But oh well. Um, yeah, I'll probably be doing another one of these maybe... What's today? Wednesday? I might do one Saturday? Uh, around the same time. I started early today just because I was bored and I wanted to kill some time. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do another one of these on Saturday. And we'll uh, continue in Dark Souls 3. And um, I will go talk to this lady. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one... That you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sorrow. Okay. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to endless. Yeah. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing with the moon upon your journey. If you should acquire assistance, bless it. All right. Thanks. Yeah, uh, so I'm out of here. I'll see you guys uh, Saturday around 6 uh, Eastern Time. And uh, I'll either finish up uh, Demon Ruins or whatever it's called in this game. Or I will continue on to Irithyll. Or I might do both. Who the hell knows? So I'll see you guys then. Thank you everybody for watching. Goodbye.